is happening gang it's your boy retro back again with another reaction video yeah yeah today we got another huge update guys one coming on that supposed special counsel jack smith and his trump case looks like we're seeing things come to a complete end you know, after judge eileen cannon has brought out that hammer once again and slammed it down on that supposed special counsel jack smith guys i'm excited to get in this update and see exactly what's going on so i'm not gonna do too much talking on the front end i'm just gonna save it all for the back guys so definitely stick around until the end so you guys can get my thoughts on the back end of the video guys and also youtube push this video out definitely stick around until the end you guys but let's get straight into the update guys before we do that though make sure you guys hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button guys we're on the road to the truth Hop aboard for the journey. Let's get into it, y'all. Welcome to Doug in Exile. Aileen Cannon planning something even better for Donald Trump, says an attorney. This is the giant lawfare against Trump. This is about the Mar-a-Lago's document case where he held back those documents and Jack Smith went after him for disobeying him. They did a search, you know, of Mar-a-Lago. Now this court trial is ongoing uh, down in Miami, Florida with a Trump appointed judge Aileen Cannon, and she really kicks Jack Smith in the groin on this one. Today, the judge overseeing his classified documents trial, Judge Aileen Cannon, rejected Trump's request to dismiss the charges against him. Now, Trump's lawyers had argued that the Presidential Records Act gave Trump the power to retain classified documents. But in a three-page ruling, Judge Cannon said that the Presidential Records Act does not provide a pretrial basis to dismiss any of the charges. While that may seem like Cannon is ruling in favor of special counsel Jack Smith, Judge Cannon very much left the door open today for the former president to use the Presidential Records Act as part of his defense during the trial. Former federal prosecutor and legal analyst Glenn Kirshner alleged on Friday that Judge Aileen Cannon is, quote, orchestrating something even more beneficial for Trump in his uh, criminal classified documents trial. It's important to remember that Glenn Kirshner, you know, these are all political, they all have their own political um, statement for or against Trump. He happens to be against Trump. Among the four criminal cases that Trump, uh, the presumed 2024 GOP presidential nominee, is charged in, one of the most damning, according to legal experts, has been the classified documents case, which charges Trump with unlawfully retaining such documents after leaving the White House in 2021, some containing sensitive national defense information in violation of the Espionage Act. Trump himself has pleaded not guilty to the charges and accused the investigation of being politically motivated. He specifically is saying he has a right to hold these things. He has a right to declassify these documents because it happened under his presidency. If you're the president of the United States, you can declassify just by saying um, it's declassified, even by thinking about it. Oh, and on the experts saying this is really the one that probably puts Trump in the most jeopardy because he clearly held the documents and they asked him to hand them over. He said, no, he flat out, he stood by his values and said, no. So this is the one where it'd be probably the easiest to get him, but because they're classified documents, they all have to be redacted. That means the entire jury can't see, you know, there's an argument over what they can and can't see. And so there's a lot of political turmoil with this particular case. Cannon, who was appointed by to the bench by Trump in the final months of his presidency, was selected to oversee the case and has been criticized in many corners for decisions that have been deemed overtly beneficial to the former president. You have to remember, she really hasn't acquitted herself well. Whether you think that it's from inexperience, whether you think it's because she's partisan or both. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, my opinion is it's both, um, that she's both inexperienced and she is consistently ruling in unlawful ways for only one side. Now that's all spin because they're just angry that this is one judge that's been appointed by Trump. All the other cases against him have all been Obama or Biden or Clinton appointments. So they're all Democrats. And so that's what they consider fair. They consider this unfair, that this is a Republican uh, judge. And I actually think Aileen Cannon has been very careful to act like an impartial judge. They're just not used to normalcy on the Democrat side. She has also specifically been accused by, of helping Trump by delaying the case's proceedings, by holding off on announcing an official trial date as matters are worked through. Now, she has been accused of dragging her feet, but she's just being normal with all of this case. The timing of it matches up with her normal, uh, the way that she uh, handles her cases. 
On Thursday, however, Cannon ruled against a motion from Trump's legal team requesting that his espionage act charges be dismissed, arguing that he was allowed to retain the documents under the Presidential Records Act, a notion that Department of Justice's DOJ Special Counsel Jack Smith's team dismissed as pure fiction. In denying the motion, Cannon did leave open the possibility that the argument could be raised at a later date in the case. Um, Andrew, you know, we were talking about confidence in the judiciary, and I'm all for believing in institutional integrity, but man, Judge Cannon, she tests she, she tests the bounds of that every day. Now, I'm only saying if she's a big Trump ally and, and just trying to help him out, why would she do that? Because that technically cut against Trump. They won't acknowledge it because they, they're still going for their spin on this whole thing that she's just trying to help Trump even when she's not trying to help him. In a Friday post to his official YouTube channel, Kirshner, a former assistant U.S. attorney and frequent critic of the former president, argued that this decision from Cannon is laying the groundwork for something that will be, quote, even better for Trump. And that's why I'm for it. I like it when the politics cut uh, and help us every once in a while, because this is this would only be one quarter to one fifth of the trials against Trump where he gets what I consider a fair shake. Quote, she's orchestrating something even better for Donald Trump. He said, if she had granted this motion and dismissed those charges, guess what? Special counsel Jack Smith would have been able to appeal. But what she said is, quote, I'm not going to dismiss them now, but I might dismiss them later when we're in trial, after the jury's been sworn, after jeopardy has attached. The big thing that people need to understand, once the jury is sworn, double jeopardy attaches, meaning if the jury acquits or if the judge acquits, it's over. What does jeopardy mean? You can't try the same guy twice for the same thing. So at that point, it'll be double jeopardy for uh, Jack Smith to appeal and retry him. So that's not going to happen. Why? Because then Jack Smith can't appeal the dismissal and Donald Trump will never be held accountable for those crimes, unquote. Similar accusations of this tactic were levied against Judge Cannon last month when she denied a motion from Trump's legal team looking to have 32 of his 40 charges dismissed on presidential immunity grounds. She did so without prejudice, meaning that Trump's team can raise the issue later on down the line if they choose to. Now, Neil Katyal, a lawyer and former acting U.S. Solicitor General during the Obama administration, so he's guilty already, previously suggested that while Cannon could end up rejecting the motions to dismiss arguments, the fact she held a long day long hearing to discuss their merit is in the first place is ultimately helping Trump in his hopes to delay the federal trial. Now, this is the thing with Jack Smith that I always accuse him of. This is all just about timing. They just want to get him before the election. They don't care about justice. And if they cared about justice, they'd let her take her time on it and be thorough about it but their fear is that she's not going to make a ruling before the election in November. Speaking to MSNBC on March 14th, the day of the hearing, uh, Katyal and Cannon's decisions in favor of Smith's office was only a partial victory, similar to what may occur with the U.S. Supreme Court's ruling on whether Trump can cite presidential immunity to discuss his federal uh, election obstruction case. Let's skip down to that final paragraph to wrap this up. Quote, there's no chance that Trump is going to win and that the court is going to say he has absolute immunity. But what the Supreme Court did there is delay his trial for January 6th charges, potentially to after the election, unquote, Katyal said. Quote, and the same thing I fear is happening with Judge Cannon. She keeps kicking the can down the road. The fact that she had a day-long hearing today on those two bogus issues tell you everything you need to know. The only thing that Donald Trump's arguments warrant are an eye roll and a swift denial. Now, they're being disrespectful to the entire justice system just because Aileen Cannon is a Trump appointment. And so all of these people that talk about, oh, respect of the law and respect of the justice, there's no respect for Aileen Cannon. They show great disrespect for her in the media. These are lawyers, fellow judges, Jack Smith. They're all angry that she's not on board with the Democrat lawfare agenda of get Trump and we'll work out the legality and precedent and tradition later. So I'm, I'm happy to see Aileen Cannon uh, fight for the law. 
I, in the end, I think she's fair. She's already shown that she's cut against Trump on some of these motions. And yet suddenly now she's doing this one thing where she pushed back on Jack Smith and it's a warning to him. She's saying like, you don't own me. You don't own me, buddy. And corrupt Jack Smith is angry because he owns all the other judges. Yo, there we have it, guys. Coming from our friend Doug in Exile. I'll definitely be sure to leave that original video link down in the description box below. For those of you who want to go over there and check that out, also you guys to go over there and show our friend Doug a bit of love. Oh my goodness, guys. It seems like the left just will never be satisfied or happy with the results from these cases, guys. Even if Trump is taken down, it seems like they just want more. You know, we got Eileen Cannon, you know, slamming down Trump's legal motions, you know, dismiss these cases on, you know, Presidential Immunity Act, um, the Espionage Act, guys. And and, you know, she slammed it down and the left is still not happy, guys. They don't like the way she slammed it down, apparently. They're saying that, you know, she's secretly up to something. Essentially saying that she's in cahoots with Donald Trump, which we all know is not the case. Sky Trump has had to fight all this case, you know, fair and square. Whereas all these rogue entities on the left have been able to, you know, come about, you know, misuse and abuse um, the Department of Justice system, you know, bring about these political witch hunts against Donald Trump, whereas these, you know, rogue entities on the left have been able to, you know, come forth misusing and abusing um, our legal system against Donald Trump to bring forth these, you know, political charade cases, these witch hunts against Donald Trump. And now we're seeing that they're upset, you know, throwing tantrums because you know, Judge Eileen Cannon is not on board with trying to railroad this guy, Donald Trump, bring about more political witch hunts, guys. She is going to err on the side of justice. And that's what we're seeing right here, guys. They're trying to say that, you know, she's slowing it up. Um, she's delaying the process, but no, she is working, you know, the case very thoroughly, trying to make sure that all evidence, all motions are heard. You know, she heard Donald Trump's motions trying to, you know, get this thing dismissed. The manner in which Judge Eileen Cannon has dismissed these motions, guys, has made it so that this can come back up again. Trump's legal team can bring this all up, you know, further down the road, um, you know, further delaying the case and also potentially getting this whole thing thrown out for good, guys, which we've seen on the video, you know, talking about the double jeopardy, injecting that double jeopardy factor into the equation, guys, once that jury is sworn sworn in and introduced you know if they decide to you know acquit donald trump that be the judge or the jury this whole thing is gone for good they can never try to bring this case up jack smith uh you know merrick garland then we'll see special counsel jack smith and uh his boss attorney general merrick garland very upset that their plans are full for good they'll never be able to you know re-bring up this case or you know try trump for these same you know these same claims this is definitely another huge update we're seeing guys another big win for trump because we're seeing that you know they're freaking out on the left you know we're seeing they're comparing this to other cases that have been you know delayed to the point where they're not going to be able to get trump on trial and try before election date this year they're saying that he's going to be in office and that's their main fear right now is the timing thing about all of this and that's how you know this whole thing is politically motivated because why else would they care about you know the timing of when this guy is tried it on trial other than the fact that they're trying to blatantly interfere with the 2024 elections guys definitely hop in the comment section and let me know your thoughts on this one seeing judge eileen cannon standing firm you know not rushing in the face of this pushy prosecutor jack smith no matter what he's trying to get her to do she is not on board seeing her slam that hammer down on him once again guys and now she's you no know, slams some flames down for donald trump slammed his motions down to get this whole thing dismissed but the manner that she has dismissed these motions and raised questions and raised eyebrows on the left guys definitely hop in the comment section and let me know your thoughts on this one guys also make sure you guys hit that share button share this out to as many facebook friends as possible guys share the truth also make sure you guys hit that like button it doesn't cost a thing hit that like button for your boy and also hit that subscribe button guys We're on the road to the truth hop aboard for the journey i'll catch you guys on the next one we <laughs>